Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Centurions brought us some content that we did not expect yesterday in FC24, especially with the brand new Centurions evolutions. On our promo Friday, we have so many evolutions right now. There's so much hype in that category of the game. It's impacting basically everything. We're going to talk about that today, the market that is moving kind of downwards, actually, and what to look forward to today on Saturday in FC24. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's start with all the content that we had yesterday. First of all, we had the Odegaard SBC that we were expecting, and actually, EA gave him a nice boost. They gave him the three-star weak foot, not four, but they did give him the 80 pace. It is a very nice-looking card. The way that I kind of look at this is I've got Kevin De Bruyne flat flashback and like uh the james madison player of the month i think those are two very popular cards that some people might be replacing with this odegaard but also i understand the argument if you don't want to replace him with this card because this is still a 320,000 coin sbc great play styles definitely a midfielder maybe lacking a bit in the physical so more of a cam not just a center mid box to box he's high medium as well and five star skills for creating it's not a bad SBC. I think it's a little bit pricey, but I think the card price warrants, like if this guy was on the market, he'd probably be somewhere between like 250 and 350 based on the way that this team is priced and the card you're looking. So I don't think that's a terrible SBC. Yesterday as well, we had the team of the week player pick, which actually I'm going to say avoid that right now, guys, because 22,000 coins for a team of the week player pick. A lot of times you're getting an 81 or an 82 in there anyway. I mean, sometimes you get lucky, but I would say that's just really, at this point, kind of too expensive for 22k. I might stay away from that one. And then the Centurions Challenge one, that's cheap. Go ahead and get it done. Now, objectives yesterday as well. We got the objective player that we were expecting. We got objective Danilo Pereira, um, which actually does give out if you need XP some much needed XP for those that are trying to grind out the rest of the season. This card looks pretty decent as well. He can play center back, and I think that's where a lot of people are going to play him. Medium high work rates. He's suited basically for center back. He's full lengthy, great short pass and long pass, great strength. Not a bad card with the play styles as well. And guys, I can tell you this. Combine this with your evolutions. If you're doing any of the evolutions right now in squad battles, try to combine it with this if you can because it'll just be an easy card to get done. 86 rated fodder at the very least if you were able to kind of double up on that. So that's one thing I would mention because this can be done in semi-pro squad battles, which a lot of us are going to be playing, I think, because of evolutions. Now, before we get to the evolutions, let's talk about the cards that are in packs right now. And we got the team that we were expecting minus a few players. And guys, I have to say, the Centurions icons, as expected, are definitely more packable uh, than regular icons. As my game freezes, I'm going to reset it right here and we'll take a look at these cards on Footbin. Uh, take an example, Kumin. Kumin's card is 200,000 coins, which honestly, Compare this to VVD, right? This card compared to VVD, who is uh, 70,000 coins more than Kuman, like that is a very, very nice center back card. He's got the dead ball uh, play style plus. He's also got a lot of defensive ones like the slide tackle, bruiser. He's got long ball pass and power shot for a center back. Why not? I think that card's great. Got two so is cheap. That's a solid card. But it's Rooney Smith, Jarzinho, and Hullet. Look at Hullet's price, guys. I mean, Hullet, a brand new day one plus one overall icon on his regular base version is only 2 million coins more. Like these cards, as expected, are pretty packable. I think they're even more packable than what I expected. Rooney and like uh, Kelly Smith, her regular icon card well, yesterday was like almost 800K and now her new card is 800K. So I'm a fan of these icons because they seem pretty packable and I like how there's a couple cheap ones with Kuman and Gattuso already here uh, and I'm a fan of that. Now for the rest of the side, I feel like the rest of the team is okay, but guys, I have to say, I think I think EA missed the mark a little bit with a couple of these cards. Like, of course, Mendy is insane, one of the best left backs in the game. He got a big plus three upgrade with plus four shooting and passing. So he's got 80 passing dribbling defense with 89 physical. That is one of the, if not the best left backs in the game. Tomori's upgrade is just okay, right? He got that plus one pace with plus twos and a couple plus threes there. Pedri's card is decent. They didn't give him the five-star skills. Gioro does look pretty nice. Rashford looks cracked, and of course, he's pretty expensive. But one thing I'll notice is the EA did a really good job, once again, of taking an un unusable card. Pop's 88-rated gold card has got power header playstyle plus. They gave her a plus seven pace boost to give her 80 pace, and they gave her finesse plus. And she's got, if you look at her stats, like 93 strength, 98 heading, 
Um, 89 finishing, 94 positioning, 94 shot power. This almost is the price of 90 rated fodder right now anyway. I think that's a fun card to try with the finesse shot plus. So honestly, EA, GG's with the promo team. GG's for making them pretty affordable on the market as well and pretty packable. Like I was looking at the amount of pages of supply that we have on Pedri at the content drop yesterday. And I, I don't know if it was Pedri or if it was... Um, Actually, I think it was Pedri. Pedri had like 40 pages of supply. It was crazy. Now, normally that deters me from trading with some of these cards, but as we're waking up today, Pedri was 273,000 coins. I picked one up at 270, 273, and he is now 300,000 coins. He's having a little bit of a rise. I also picked up a Tamori, hoping that he would have a bit of a bounce into today, but he is not moving as much. I bought him at 380-something on bid, and he's still like 390, but he's a pretty rare card. He did have a couple of really good bounces yesterday, but just know that this promo team of players is pretty supplied even though the pack weight in the store doesn't look it like if you go on the market and actually look through the number of pages of supply and i know it's late night so it looks more rare for me right now than normal as i'm like already getting to the 59th and seven pages for gioro like during the day today that is gonna that's gonna up a lot so um yeah these cards are pretty supplied although i didn't pack any yesterday from the couple safe packs that i had they are definitely supplied pretty well on the market and of course i like the icons you can tell the icons like guys these icons have been in packs for a day and you look at how many runies are on the market it almost looked like there's more centurions runies on the market than like his regular icon like he's got multiple pages three full pages there's probably gonna be like five or six or seven pages of runies on the market today in the heat of the day that's pretty crazy w dynamic image as well so honestly a w implementation there from ea with these icons even though a lot of them of course are a bit expensive now let's talk about the big content from yesterday we're going to spend a bit of time talking about this because guys yesterday ea dropped more evos and oh boy they didn't drop just more evolutions this is the most insane meta evos we've got the com the complaint recently has been oh evolutions don't match up with the power curve you know this trailblazer center rack he doesn't go into my team trailblazer striker like mm, it's close but he doesn't go into my team that changed okay both of the evos that were dropped yesterday centurion's box to box midfielder this is the most insane evo of the year yes it is the most expensive but i'm going to show you why i think it's actually worth it if you have the cash to do that and if it's something you want to grind out that's worth it to do but i want to start with the free one first right the centurion's sharpshooter this is an insane free evo because you're taking a left winger giving a little more pace boosting up the shooting and also giving some insane traits play styles guys not traits they're play styles now right you get the high attacking work rate eight dribbling finesse shot you get Trivella, and I think there's one more. Is there one more? No, it's just Finesse Shot and Trivella. Like this Inma G uh, Gabaro, the final card here. That is a cracked looking card. 91 pace, 90 shooting. Like just as the example, this is a really, really good Evo. Yes, it does take 40 games. It does take 40 games, guys. But if you take a look, and I know a lot of you guys have, at some of the evolved players that you can get done with this. A lot of people are doing Bamba as more of a left mid, left wing type player. Four star, five star, high, low. Look at the work rate change. His card goes from medium, medium, which a lot of people see as unusable, to a left winger or left mid player with high, low work rates. Definitely more of an attacker, right? The Centurion's sharpshooter. It's definitely a more attacking type player, which is why I think a lot of people are also going for straight up strikers like Pedro Neto, one of the most popular cards that people are going after right now. I believe his card is extinct. Yeah, his card is extinct on the market. A lot of these non-rares are up in value or extinct because people are buying them. To do this Evo, you get the finesse shot, you get rapid, quick step, and you get uh, Trivella with his card. You get great shooting stats. You're a little low in composure. Great dribbling stats besides that. And, of course, really good pace with the explosive um, accelerate type. An absolute insane card. There's so many good options inside of here that I think, honestly, guys, it's worth the 40 games. It really is. Because if you look at that card, like that's getting into a lot of people's teams. A four star, five star striker with 89 pace, 89 shooting, and 87 dribbling, like that is getting into a ton of people's teams. Who's the other guy? that a lot of people are doing from this. Huan He Chan, obviously a lot of Premier League hype here. Links to the Hyunmin Sun. He's got Finesse Travella, five-star weak foot as well. A little bit better composure on him. Not as good of balance, but great shooting statistics. And again, it's a Prem striker with 90 shooting and a five-star weak foot, guys. That's where the hype is 
with this Evo. You're getting a really, really good striker that goes into a lot of our teams. Cornet's another one. Uh, he goes to, he's only a center forward, not striker. He's three-star, five-star, but 90 pace, 90 shooting, quick step, finesse, and Trivella. So many great options in here. So honestly, this feels like a an evolution that again, like I said, this isn't just one that's fun to do and grinding out somebody that's going to be on like the bench and a super sub. This is like a starter in your ultimate team type of Evo. And, you know, I just think it's insane. Now, we'll talk about this next one as well because I think this might be the craziest one that we've got. Centurion's box to box, guys. Full meta upgraded cards. Now, this is probably not for everybody, but I think this is an evolution that as many people that can't afford it should consider because the cards that you're getting from this are cards that are going to go boom straight into your team and probably stay in your team through team of the year guys like ev everybody knows who the most popular card out of this evolution is right it is the 87 rated marcus yorente his card is 8k on the market he was ex like extinct the 10k before just look at the state of this card if you're telling me that this 87 marcus yorente would be worth 8k what he is on the market right now plus 150k on the market like 170k for this card like no he would be way more if he was in packs right now with his promo for a plus three promo boost with the high high work rates for his card you get pinged pass you get you get bruiser what do you get you get uh the relentless which is great for a midfielder high attacking work rate you get bruiser and you get a high defensive work rate with ping pass like this urente card is so worth the grind it's worth the coins and it's worth the time guys it's actually not that hard to get these games in if you think about it this way if you don't think oh my goodness i have to go play 40 freaking games of squad battles right think of it this way i'm tempted to do this year rent i'm tempted to go buy this card and to put him because i've got a lot of league of cards in my team the upgrade for this would be a card that i could use as a right back as a midfielder as a super sub for literally months to come and really if you think about it he fits into your team. He's a meta card anyway. You can put him into your squad. Go play your rivals games this week, which is maybe about 10 games. Yeah, you have to get your wins. So you get seven wins of rivals, right? Boom. There's seven wins down. You play your champs qualities. You have to get four wins. There's 11. And then you go and you grind some squad battles during the week as well. It's not like you have to get the 40 games done separately. You can just put that squad in, play your normal games of FC ultimate team for the week, and you get the evolution done not too long after that unless you're trying to get him done right away then of course you'd have to use him in champs you have to use him in squad battles and grind those games a lot and of course if you need to score the goals get the assist just go into a squad battles game and just crank those out in a game or two of course with the shorter halves it's not that bad anyway so it seems like a huge commitment but it's really not that big of a commitment because you don't have to get it done right away this is a card and all of the cards that are in here that are really really good these are cards that are going to stand the test of time. Chameni is another really, really popular one. Eight play styles on this card, guys. Like, he's got Jockey, Aerial, Interceptor, Relentless, a Bruiser, Anticipate. What a card. These are cards that we're going to be seeing in uh, teams, in opponents' teams, for a really long time, guys. That's why I think there's a real shout, even though this looks like it's really expensive and not worth it. I think there's a shout for it being one of the most meta and insane evos we've gotten so far and that's why there's a pretty high price on it also don't sleep on this crystal done her 84 rated gold card is absolutely freaking nuts if you have anybody in your team that's nwsl this card 44 high high with 90 pace 88 triple 86 pass it's a hullet gang card with 90 pace i mean that rivals honestly that rivals your rente so um what a card that is there's honestly if you're doing this evo as well this is not an Evo that you say, oh, I'm going to take a silver card or a non-rare gold from my favorite club and spend 150k on this and do the Evo. You know, that's that's not what this Evo is for, guys. This Evo is for you're trying to get an absolutely insane card. Uh, Belgarde is one that a lot of people are trying to double up on with Trailblazer Interceptor and the Centurion's Box to Box. That's a decent looking card. Um, this is one that you have to do a me more meta type of card in. And I would show you the examples of my club, but my club is not good right now. There's not a lot in here. So I'm going to have to buy somebody to do it. And one thing I'll point you towards as well is we've mentioned this on stream in the past couple of days. Start club stocking in forms, okay? Big clubs like PSG, top Premier League clubs, and just Premier League players in general that get in forms or, um, you know, special cards and promos. Look at this Solaire card. He doesn't even look that bad because he can play center mid and he was an inform, right? So 
this is the sort of stuff that you want to start doing. I think some people are evolving the Nike version of Enzo Fernandez because he's got the dynamic image on his card. It's not an insane Evo, but it looks decent at least because you get a dynamic. Um, Evander from the MLS, the Brazilian center mid, a lot of people are Evoing that card as well. So absolutely mental Evos that were dropped yesterday. And guys, as I take a look at the market, it's actually really impacting the market. This is something that we've never you know, experienced before because this is almost like a new way for EA to like drain coins. They drop an absolutely crazy set of Evos yesterday, especially one that a lot of people want to start working on right away and even spend 150K on because it's a card that goes boom straight into their team. And I think you're seeing prices drop on the market because of that, right? Right after the content drop yesterday, let's, let's back up to that, right? Prices rose after the team was released. People saw the Centurions that were in packs like, ah, Nate, this promo's kind of mid, man. And you know what? Without the evolutions, yesterday would have been real mid. I don't disagree at all. But what you saw was Neymar was like 280. He went up to like 310K. Bonmati, Hansen, um, even some of the out of packs cards, the Trailblazers that, that went out of packs, Robertson, Harry Kane. Harry Kane was like 380,000 coins. Big rises yesterday, but now look where it is. Prices have slid off into the late Friday night, early Saturday morning time frame. And I think it's truly because, guys, number one, uh, these Evos are absolutely insane and they're draining coins off the market and people are selling some cards to go and do that. And that's where all the hype is. And, and number two, like, I think the promo team being cheap maybe has a little bit of impact on it too. But I think it's really mostly the evolutions are so hype and people are putting their focus there and not going and buying as many cards off of the market golds had kind of the the movement that we expected now one thing we didn't expect is for midfielders to take a hit right jude bellingham is down bad okay and jude bellingham is down bad because everybody was buying guess who marcus urente yesterday to put into the evolution he went from 116k all the way down to 83,000 coins a lot of center mids across i was just looking at schweinsteiger icon midfielders across the game are down bad schweinsteiger's 350 he was 410 he was 410 on Thursday. I remember seeing his price go above 400,000 coins. That's a card that is down a lot. Uh, Beckham was a card that I was trying to flip yesterday. I bought him at 400K. I'm luckily, I luckily sold him at 400K as well and took the tax loss. I was hoping that he would go back up to like 430 to 440. Well, those midfielder evos, he's down even further because midfielders are getting absolutely destroyed in the game. But the gold cards in general got packed yesterday. They dropped as expected. Varane, 71,000 coins. You know who's down real bad as a midfielder? Tonali. Look at this one, guys. He was 55K yesterday. People expecting him to go out of packs. Banned, right, for betting. 35,000 coins. He might go out of packs still. It is actually possible that he could be pulled out of packs, but it hasn't happened yet. His price is going down bad. Do I expect the market to bounce back today? Do I expect prices to kind of continue to go? If I were seeing any price bounce backs today, it would be on the brand new cards, maybe some of the top tier meta. But guys, uh, it, it might be like last week, right? It might be like last week on Saturday where we saw prices maybe go up a little bit in the morning, but then just continue to drop off even further because all the hype right now is with Evos. I'm really unsure of where prices on this market are going to go. Of course, we do know that prices are going to continue to drop over the long haul. And I said it in yesterday's video, I said it a couple times this last week, it's just better right now to be more on, on the liquid side. Um, I just, it just feels the market feels uneasy to me, right? We're entering in November. People get nervous about the month of November and what it does to the market with promos and Black Friday and all that stuff. Anyway, the big packs that EA start releasing in the store, the big SBCs that we start getting, the big evolutions that we are going to be getting now. So guys, if you're going to trade with anything, I would just trade with the rare stuff, right? I bought a Mendy for a nine. 40 sold it for 1.03 here's the cards that i bought tonight the cumin the pedri i actually i'm thinking about selling the pedri here pretty quick because pedri's got so much supply i know he's really hype right it's pedri he's one of the most hype cards in this promo team um what is pedri right now pedri is like okay 300k I, I might think about selling him here he could go up to 310 315 but he also could drop back down to 250 later today on saturday so expect a lot of fluctuation with these promo cards i'm not expecting big rises today there is a lot of hype for the game right now because of the evolutions that is the only thing that could make a few cards rise a good amount today but if i was trading with anything I would stick to stuff that is rare. I mean, even like Harry Kane, I'm kind of holding on to him because I think he's going to go back up a little bit today. Uh, Robbo's even back down a little bit. Marquinhos back down. Other trailblazers from Team 1. 
Um, you know, they're not necessarily like down bad, but they're like Matoma is. He's 162K, but a lot of these cards are just chilling. So I would trade with the stuff that is more rare, out of pack stuff, because that's just the safer bet and the safer way to go, guys. I would also say Road to the Knockouts, really good to trade with. Now, I was thinking about talking about these last at the end of the video because EA took their sweet time upgrading these freaking cards, man. We th we talked about them first in the video yesterday because it thought we thought that EA was going to upgrade them early. And EA actually waited until like three quarters of the world was into Saturday before upgrading these cards. They did, they did get upgraded finally. Modric is a 92. Lewandowski went up. Hinkapi is going up. So people are going to be waking up today, seeing these cards getting upgraded. There could be a few prices that rise here or there. If there are drops on these today at all for people that were investing that are selling the card, like this, this would be a part of the market that I would feel more comfortable trading in because Road to the Knockouts, live cards like this, they always maintain their prices better than anything else. So I would mention this to you today, guys. If you're not knowing where to trade, watch this part of the market. Whoa, 638 for Osaman. That's pretty low. Like 670 is where he normally is. So that's, you know, like that's a card that I would keep an eye on if I had coins. You can see a lot of fluctuation here. Still a live item. These are cards that if you see move big, you could keep an eye on. Even DePaul, right? He's down because midfielders are down and he's in La Liga. But he also links to Yorente. So, you know, there's a bit of a trade off there. Just keep an eye on this part of the market today for sure. And also fodder. Before we get into Saturday content today, I think a lot of people, guys, are going to be investing in fodder because... I don't know. Investing in fodder on weekends just is the cool thing to do. I still am not in love with the fodder prices, but I do expect that we get more SBCs coming here pretty soon. 85s at 6K, it seems too expensive, right? But yeah, they were 7,500 coins last week. If 85s are going to go back up, we need a hero pack. We're going to need uh, player SBCs. We're going to need another like upgrade pack like the 84 double that we had this past week to make them go that high. It could happen. If I were investing in fodder, all I would say is buy a couple, put it in the club, like 88s at 23K. Like that's that's getting down there a little bit because, yes, they were like 27, but it's not down a lot. 89s at 36, mm, 90s at 50, maybe, but I don't love it. So if you're going to do an SBC this weekend or, you know, today on Saturday, we're expecting a Mudrick, right? A couple SBCs to talk about today that maybe make you think about fodder. Mudrick is coming as an SBC soon, this is a leak. And I think the way that EA have been doing promos in the past couple of weeks, I would imagine that Mudrick would be today. And then maybe on Sunday or Monday, we would see Vidic because Vidic is also a leaked Centurion's icon. But I could also see Vidic being today because in years past, they have done the icons when it's a promo week, like with promo icons and packs, they've done the icon players or the hero players, whatever's in packs that week on the Saturday. Um, and this could be another big SBC as well. So there's promise of potentially good SBCs to come. That's why some people will be investing in fodder. I'm just going to keep it simple this week for me. Probably not touch too much fodder unless there's SBCs that I really, really want to do. That's what I'm going to go for. But if you want to go for an investment, by all means, feel free. And then um, the foot police guy, who's been a, a little bit sus with the leaks recently. But we'll still uh, just give this some attention. Max 87 Hero SBC will come back in the next few days, which isn't that big of a surprise because we had it two weeks ago, right? EA loved to do this back and forth between one week they release the hero, the next week they release an icon, then they'll go back and they'll repeat it. So I would not be surprised if we had another um, hero upgrade pack dropping in the next couple of days, whether it's today, tomorrow, you know, Monday, somewhere along that time frame. And I think the second time around, it would have hype for sure. Would it be as hype? Maybe not, but that could be something that makes fodder move. And people remembered what fodder moved last time for that. There was a lot of the 86, 85, sixes and sevens that moved and 88s as well. Moved a decent amount uh, because of that SBC. So that's probably what people would be investing in this time around as well. What I would tell you is, again, if you think you would do that SBC again, maybe stock up a little bit in the club, but just be Careful. That's kind of all the leaks that we have right now. There were some cards that were not dropped into packs yesterday, of course. We'll expect those as a part of the mini release. And today on Saturday as well, there is a big, one of the biggest packs we've had of the entire year. It is in the code. Let me check that it's not dropped yet. Okay, yeah. So yesterday we had a 200K and a 100K pack. There might be an even bigger pack today or this weekend that has 100 different player items in it. It's untradeable for sure, but... That might be one of our biggest packs we've seen yet. I don't know if it'll be 300,000 coins. We'll have to see. 
Um, but EA is kind of going all out with the store packs once again, guys. And we get more lightning rounds today. All the packs that say they expire today um, are going to be reset. So the 50k packs won't be reset. Maybe they throw in 100s today. Who knows? Um, I made profit off a preview pack yesterday. Packed it in for him. First time of the year. Just thought I should share that. Um, and yeah, man. Good luck running your weekend league today. Good luck with your Evos. Get those Evos started, man. Like right now, I was working on an Evo for Ben Sabini, one of the, the older ones. Um, I wish you could combine Evos so bad. That would be that'd be amazing. But I understand why EA do that because they would show a lot less inter like interaction with their game if they could let you, you know, duel up the Evos together. And for them, it's all about showing the people that invest in their company that A, they can make money and B, they can retain their user base. And EA, you got us excited this weekend, man. I can't lie. When content is good, like we saw yesterday, I know maybe not every all of you guys want to play 40 games to Evo a card, but like the fact that the content in that part of the game that is play to upgrade, play to grind to upgrade, like comes in line with the rest of the power curve of cards that are in packs. I'm never going to complain about that. So GG's EA, great evolution content. And yeah, guys, that's the video for today. If you did enjoy it, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. Tell me who you're Evoing. I want to know. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Count. See you guys in a video tomorrow. Peace. Out.